Good morning everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my April favourites for you. So we're doing it a little bit vlog style again. Obviously the first favourite is this mug. This is from H&M Home, I absolutely love this coffee mug. It's so cute. This portion of the video is sponsored by Shop Tagger. I very, very, very rarely let a sponsorship be put into a favourites video. I think they're quite a sacred video on YouTube and you know they really should be kept for your absolute true favourites. You guys know I've worked with Shop Tagger heaps in the past and the reason I keep working with them is that I genuinely use and love their web app. They've actually relaunched their software and they've got a whole new look and so they reached out to me to see if I wanted to collaborate again and I was like absolutely yes and I'm more than happy to put it into this kind of video because I use it on a weekly basis. If you don't know what Shop Tagger is, it's basically just a web app that helps you to organize your wish lists. All you have to do is download the Shop Tagger button onto your Chrome browser and then when you are shopping online if you see something you like that you want to add to a wish list all you have to do is click the button. A little pop-up box appears and you can save the item to different wish lists and you can select for it to notify you when it goes on sale. The other main reason I really love using it is that it will notify you when something's back in stock. So even if an item is out of stock online, you can still save it to your wish list and then when it goes back into stock, Shop Tagger will send you an email or you can get a push notification if you use the mobile version and it will let you know when it's back in stock. I also love the fact that I can organize my wish list into different sort of categories. So I have one for home, one for beauty, one for fashion. When I was shopping for my autumn capsule wardrobe a couple of weeks ago, I found it so useful because I could do all my browsing at home add items to the wish list and then because I have the mobile app I have it all stored on my phone as well so it's super easy to access. I will have a link in the description where you can go and download Shop Tagger. I guarantee you'll find it as useful as I do. My first beauty favorite you guys have already heard me talk about in another video. It's a foundation combination that I've just been <laughs> Loving CYO Life Proof Long Lasting Foundation in 101 mixed with the Eden Minerals Nordic Veil in Urine. Now I'm not suggesting that you necessarily have to go out and get both and mix them. This is just what I do to get a good colour. The CYO has amazing longevity, a beautiful finish. Everything about this is fantastic, except for the colour is a little bit off for me. That's why I've been mixing it with the Eden Minerals. I do think they're both fantastic formulas on their own, as well as mixed. <laughs> it's pretty much what I've been wearing like on my face most of the month, especially because as you see, I've had some really bad like hormonal breakouts lately. I need a bit more coverage than some of my other sort of light medium coverage foundations. This combination definitely gives me like a low full coverage which I really like. It covers up a lot of the pigmentation I've got from like old breakouts. I might still need a little bit of concealer on like an active one but as you can see this really just evens out my complexion so well. The colour always looks a little bit bright in the viewfinder just because of like the single window that I have in front of me. But in real life this matches my neck so perfectly. And the other reason I love this combination is the finish is absolutely gorgeous as well. It's like a beautiful kind of glowy satin finish. But yeah, that's been my favourite little foundation combo at the moment. Absolutely loving it. Okay, so I turned my camera off so that I could do the rest of my makeup before I talked about my next favourite. I got really distracted while I was doing my makeup thinking about Game of Thrones fan theories that I skipped over the application of my mascara, which is my next favourite. So this is the Hourglass Caution Mascara. I've actually really, really enjoyed using this. It's nearly finished. I've been trying to like make it a mission to finish it up because it, it's been open for about six months now, which is a bit old. I mean, at least you saw a before and after because I didn't have mascara on before and this is the after. <laughs> this mascara I really actually like a lot more now that I've sort of come back to it. I think it's one of those once it gets a little bit drier, once it's been open for a little bit and it turns into like the most amazing formula. It's also gold. You guys know I love gold. It's one of those mascaras that is very sort of voluminous. It's a little bit clumpy but like in a kind of good way. I think it's one of those mascaras that really does give such a nice false lash effect and it seems to be just never ending. Like I can't get through the tube. And then my last makeup-y kind of favourite is actually a lip balm. I actually had a couple of you this month be like, what are you wearing on your lips? Like I need to know that lip colour and I'm like, it's clear lip balm. <laughs> so the lip colour is actually my lips. So sorry to disappoint but this lip balm is amazing. So this is by the brand and Clavu, which you can buy from YesStyle. And this is their Nourishing Care Lip Sleeping Pack. So this is very similar, I guess, to like the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask, which I have tried many years ago before Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask had its big like hype here on YouTube, I tried it and I thought it was a nice lip balm, but nothing like as special as people make it out to be. And I prefer this one. And the other reason I love this as well is that it kind of looks like I'm wearing lip gloss, like it's so glossy 
and sort of beautiful looking aesthetically on the lips. So I love wearing it as a daytime lip balm, not just at night time. So really been enjoying that. It has a very mild scent, maybe even slightly vanilla-y, but like very, very subtle. So it's not super strong. Let's move on to hair. I have a couple of products to talk about. The first is actually a hair mask, which I used a couple of days ago when I washed my hair. I'm on to third day here. It's by this brand called Kristen S. I bought this at Priceline. I bought their purple shampoo and conditioner as well, which I've really been loving. My hair, as you can see, is very violet ashy at the moment but I've particularly been loving the mask the reconstructive moisture mask first of all I think the packaging is just so beautiful on it I definitely did get suckered into like the millennial pink aesthetic vibe of the outer packaging it's why I tried it but I thoroughly love what's inside as well this is a sort of keratin protein mask you don't want to use this too often I wouldn't use it more than every second wash I only wash my hair twice a week anyway so I end up using it weekly the reason is that if you overuse protein in your hair it can make it brittle so you just want to be a bit careful it does have a nice fragrance to it but that's not why I love it it's mainly about how it feels first of all you can kind of see how sort of thick it is like you can see where I've scooped my fingers and how it doesn't move around and I absolutely love a dense thick creamy mask I feel like it doesn't slip around on my hair because obviously you apply it to wet hair so if a, if a mask is too watery I find it just doesn't really do a lot so this really like grips onto the hair and you can like spread it through and like let it sit on there for a good five minutes while you do other things in the shower absolutely been loving that and then for styling products I went to an event recently for Aveda which is like a hair care skincare kind of brand and they gave me a gift pack I haven't had a chance to try their like in shower shampoo and conditioner products and stuff but I will once I've finished using up this range but I've been trying the styling products and I didn't expect to like them as much as I thought because I thought, you know, I'm, I'm someone that typically buys my styling products at like Priceline, I buy pretty affordable drugstore brands and I thought how much better can like more high-end bougie products really be but lately all the high-end hair products I've been trying I've actually really loving because you guys know I love that way air dry foam as well which is not cheap but I can see why like people love it so I've been trying out the Aveda Air Control Light Hold Hairspray this is a different kind of spray I always used to buy the Alnet L'Oreal hairspray which I actually still have a backup of so I'll try and use those up anyway but this is definitely what it says on the tin it's like a light hold hairspray it's quite flexible it comes out kind of like dry you know how some hairsprays can make your hair feel almost a bit wet and then they go kind of crunchy this is like a dry kind of hairspray so when you put it in it gives your hair almost a bit of texture as well and it holds a curl it also smells amazing I don't really love the fact that there was a lot of fragrance in their skincare but with hair care I'm not I'm not fast and I actually enjoy it because if your hair's a bit dirty um, this can help to make it feel refreshed and it smells clean and that so it's really good for like third day hair what I'm going to use first is the dry shampoo now this is a different kind of dry shampoo it's like not an aerosol it's a bottle where you turn the cap and then you just literally like squeeze the bottle and the dry shampoo powder will like puff out i don't know if you'll be able to see it's quite like oh there we go it has the most beautiful like spa like fragrance it smells like you've walked into an eastern like day spa sort of thing balancing those chakras while you're doing your hair in the morning even though it comes out white as you saw it does actually absorb and blend in and it doesn't stay looking all like white and ashy my hair is actually still styled from three days ago that's how amazing that hairspray is because i sprayed it on my hair when i first styled it you can still see there's like a little bit of a wave and a curl on my hair so i don't actually need to use heat on it again today but i am just going to use a bit of the hairspray just to kind of tame some of the frizziness and for earrings this month i've been wearing my little gold anna luisa earrings heaps these are just like small little sort of sleeper hoops i just think these are such nice little like everyday little dainty earrings i definitely feel like i tend to wear bigger earrings more in summer i'm not sure why maybe it's because my tops have like really dainty straps and stuff so it kind of balances it but in winter I just feel like little simple earrings and studs and things are just a bit more me. I don't know, just gravitate towards that. I also have a couple of fashion pieces from the month that I've just been absolutely loving. Firstly are these boots. These are from Merchant. They're like little cowboy boots. I have just worn these to death. I love them so much. They're so comfortable and I love the height of them. They're not quite as short as some of my other ankle boots, but they're not like a long boot either. So they're really easy to wear. I love them over blue jeans. I love them with like bare legs and I also love how flat the cut is I feel like it really elongates my legs having that V shape considering I definitely have a much longer torso than leg ratio <laughs> it really helps to kind of balance out my body a bit more especially with a little bit of a heel it's a very comfortable here I can wear this all day but it's just nice to have a little bit of elevation so it just balances my proportions a little bit more 
And the other piece of my wardrobe, which will come as no surprise, is my Sherling jacket. I got this from YesStyle as well. Just note that anything I get from YesStyle, I purchase with a gift card that the company supplies me. They give me one every so often so I can select some things to try. It's just like PR, but I get to choose, which I think is much better. Unfortunately, I don't think this exact jacket is available anymore, which sucks. It happens a lot on YesStyle where things I like end up going out of stock really quickly but they always have very similar things so I'll try and link to something that's similar in the description for you. This month has actually been quite cold in Melbourne we've definitely had a few days where it's been like cold enough to wear this. If it's like more of a slightly mild day I can wear just like a t-shirt or something more like short sleeved underneath and this just gives me that really nice cozy windproof sort of layer and I can just take it off once I get to wherever I'm going or on a really cold day I can lay a thin like knit underneath like I'm doing here and it keeps me super toasty. This is a faux shearling so it's not real sheepskin or anything and it's not it's like a faux suede but I actually find it so so warm I'm just so so pleased that I have this sort of thing in my wardrobe however it's a little bit warm inside to be wearing it right now so I'm gonna take it off and now it's time to talk about my favorite plant of the month this is Ruby it's my burgundy rubber plant I am so proud of this plant I had her originally upstairs and she got a little bit unhappy I couldn't get a spot kind of bright and sunny enough for her and her soil just was never drying out which meant she started to get a little bit like mold growing and I was like, oh, I don't want her to get root rot. So I moved her downstairs, put her in this gorgeous pot that I got from Adairs. It comes with the basket and the holder. And she's just been living her best life. She's been popping out new leaves every couple of weeks. Definitely starting to slow down a bit now as we head into autumn, winter. They definitely stop like growing quite as fast. I'm just so thrilled that I was able to find a spot for her that she was really thriving. A few of you think I'm like this big plant guru. I have a lot of plants. I love them, but I'm also learning. I'm quite new to the game. Apart from like a cactus or a succulent here and there, in the past I got my first proper plants in December so I'm still a relatively new plant mum and I've definitely made some mistakes I've had one or two plants that didn't make it RIP made in here fern it is all definitely trial and error so if you've been wanting to get into plants I definitely just try a few or even start with just one plant and research how to look after that very specific plant that might be the best way so you don't feel overwhelmed I definitely launched in and got a lot and it's been quite a big learning curve but definitely don't be afraid at the end of the day if you kill it it's not a pet or a child <laughs> it's not the end of the world and you can always try again now that my coffee is well and truly cold I got through most of it but it's always hard to drink it while I'm chatting to you guys obviously I can't do an April favorites without mentioning <laughs> I have an unhealthy obsession with Game of Thrones. And if you are too, and you're not watching my vlogs, highly suggest watching them. I'm doing a roundup at the end of each weekly vlog for the next few weeks leading up to the finale, where after I've watched the episode, I sit down and like share my thoughts, and it's sometimes quite entertaining. Oh, I need some gin. I have my last couple of vlogs where I've done a debrief in the description as well for you. And even if you don't love Game of Thrones, I'd highly suggest watching my vlogs anyway because I love making them. They're some of my favorite videos to edit and I cover such a huge range of stuff in my vlogs. Like, in fact, my vlogs themselves have been such a favorite. I love making them. I just feel like I can just be my completely myself in my vlogs. I also wanted to highlight a couple of YouTubers that I've been watching a lot and getting very inspired by. The first is my lovely friend, Erin May Henry. She's a business coach and makes videos around like entrepreneurship and living your best life. I've been finding her videos really motivational and just really uplifting. And quite often I'll like put them on while I'm doing other things and just like listen to what she has to say. So they're kind of like mini podcasts. So I'll have a link to her channel linked below as well. I've just been finding her content really inspiring. And also my lovely friend Jessica from Jam Beauty 89. She is a darling. She's been shouting me out so much lately. Like I feel like every few videos she's like saying that like something I did inspired her for this content or whatever. Or she just mentions me and it's so sweet. And thank you so much Jessica. You have no idea how much that means to me. And I know a few of you have popped over from her mentioning me and I just want to say a huge welcome. She's one of those YouTubers that I'll watch every single video of hers even if I can't get onto them straight away I'll add them to my watch later. And she just brings such a smile to my face and I love her videos. It's like sitting down and chatting with a friend. I know you guys often say that about me and my videos and especially my vlogs it's like hanging out with a friend. Well I feel the same way about Jessica so definitely go and check out her channel again I'll have that linked below as well. And on that note that is it for my favorites video. I've gotten through my list. I do hope you guys enjoy this kind of more like vloggy style of favorites video. I really enjoy it. It's just so chilled and it really lets me just like be me. I feel like sometimes sit down videos I get a little bit like stage fright. Even though I've been doing this for so long I can just tell a real difference in my demeanor when I'm like just vlogging away and I'm just me you know compared to when I'm like sitting down and like just feel like I get my phone voice comes on. <laughs> it's really helping me to make my best content I think and I hope you guys are enjoying it too. So thank you once again for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video.
拜。